Hi folks, we're going to take a look at this uh, question which was on uh, one of the worksheets. So we have these two hot air balloons and uh, we have a whole bunch of information uh, about their positions. And uh, let's take a look at what they're looking for. They want to know the distance separating the balloons to the nearest tenth of a kilometer. So we'll start with that one here. So here are my two balloons. So let's draw a line representing the distance between them. Okay. So this is what we're looking for. So I'm going to label that X. And I notice that this side length X is part of two triangles. One here or one there. Fortunately, neither of those two triangles has enough information to solve for X. So as is very common in these trigonometry problems, we'll hopefully be able to work with another triangle that shares one of these side lengths. And it looks like I have this side length too, so I'd want to incorporate that. So I could work with one of two triangles. So let's say I decide that this is going to be the triangle that I'm eventually going to work with. And I notice that this side length here is common to this triangle at the bottom. So let's start by working with that triangle there. So I'm going to want to determine that common side. I'll call it A. And uh, well, I have the side length too. Let's see if we can find some more angles. So I already know the 20 degrees. This one here is just supplementary to the 75 degrees. So we know this is just going to be 105. And now we can find the third angle in the triangle. So 125 subtracted from 180 is 55 degrees. So it looks like I now have enough information to solve for A. And since I have an angle opposite side pair, I'm going to use the sine law. So let's start on part A of this problem. So let me set up my equation. A over sine of its opposite angle, which is 105, is equal to 2 over the sine of its opposite angle, which is 55. Okay, so A is equal to 2 sine 105 over sine 55. And so A is equal to, and let's calculate that here. We've got 2 times sine of 105, close off the bracket, divided by sine of 55. And we get 2.36. So now we've got this side length here. Let's try to find this side length, okay, which I'll call B. Now this side length is part of this other triangle, which also contains the known length of 2. So let's draw it out here. Okay, and let's see what information we have about that red triangle. So we have this angle of 25 degrees. This angle here is uh, supplementary to 80, so that's going to be 100 degrees. 100 plus 25, 125, subtract that from 180, and again we have an angle of 55 degrees up here. Okay, so enough information to solve for this side length B. So let's go ahead and do that. Set up an equation, so B over the sine of its opposite angle, which would be 25 degrees, is equal to 2 over the sine of its opposite angle, which would be 55. So B is equal to 2 sine 25 over sine of 55. And let's calculate that here. Okay, so 2 times sine 25, close off the bracket, divided by sine of 55 equals 1.03. So B is equal to 1.03. Okay, but now I've got enough information in this triangle which contains X. So if I create this triangle here, 1, 2, and 3, of which X, A, and B are a part of. So let's take a look. Well, the side length, I know its opposite angle because if this red angle going all the way down is 100, and if that angle there is 20, 100 minus 20, so this angle here is 80 degrees, okay? But I don't have the opposite to A or the opposite to B. So that tells me that I'm going to need to use cosine law 
to determine x. Okay, so let's do that here. So x is going to be equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the other two sides. So 2.36 squared plus 1.03 squared minus 2 times 2.36 times 1.03 times cosine of the opposite angle to x, which is 80 degrees. Okay, so let's calculate that here. Okay, the square root of 2.36 squared plus 1.03 squared minus 2 times 2.36 times 1.03 times cosine of 80. And that gives us 2.41. But since they asked us for uh, the answer to the tenth of a kilometer, I'm just going to leave the answer as 2.4. So x is equal to 2.4 kilometers. And that's our answer for the first part. So let's see what they're asking for in the second part. They say determine the difference in the height above the ground between the two balloons. And here, round your answer to the nearest meter. So let's be sure that we keep that in mind when we give our final answer. So here, if I'm looking for the height, well, there's the height of A, and since it's assumed that the height will make a right angle to the ground, this is where I might think, hey, maybe I can just use primary trig ratios in a right angle triangle. So let's call this height A, and I notice that this height makes up part of this triangle with the side length B. I know what B is already. I have an angle in that triangle 80. So I'm looking for the opposite to 80 and I know the hypotenuse which is B. So that tells me that I can use the sine ratio. Okay, so here let's set that up. Sine of 80 degrees is the opposite which is HA over the hypotenuse which is B which we've already found 1.03. So the height of A is going to be uh, 1.03 times sine of 80 degrees. Okay, so let's count. 1.03 times sine of 80 degrees is equal to. Now, since they want it to the nearest meter, okay, that's one kilometer, so if we have to go to the nearest meter, I'll go to. Uh, the third decimal place, so that will be 1,014 meters. Okay, so I always follow what they're asking me to determine. So in this case here, they're asking to the meter, so that's what we have to do. Let's now go to the other side, and let's indicate the height of B. I'll call that HB. Now, I don't know this side length here, but I do know the side length A. So I can create this right angle triangle. Okay, I have an angle in the triangle, 20 degrees. I know the hypotenuse, which is A of this triangle, and I'm looking for the opposite side to 20 degrees. So opposite and hypotenuse, again, let's use sine. Okay. So let's set that up here. We have sine of 20 degrees is equal to the opposite side, HB, over the hypotenuse, 2.36 kilometers. So HB is equal to 2.36 times sine of 20. Okay, let's calculate that here. 2.36 times sine of 20, and we get... 0.807 kilometers, which I'm going to write in meters, so 807 meters. Okay, and now the difference in the heights will be, well, the higher one is A, so HA minus HB is equal to 1014 minus 807 equal to 14 minus 807 is equal to 207 meters. Okay, and there we go. 
there's our answer for B. So here we had to use our method of common side lengths and triangles quite a few times. But what I wanted to suggest that you do in one of these questions here, so make sure if you have a diagram that you make use of it and set up a plan. So in this case here, we had a plan to eventually use this triangle to determine X. Okay, and use your diagram to label everything that you need, everything that you're going to use in the problem. Okay, that's it for now.